to uh, get more equipment in the hands of the, of the hobby producers. Um, CDL is looking at developing new types and pieces of equipment that fit for the hobby and small scale producers. So one of the items that they came up with here this last year was the vacuum filter. Basically what this is, this will replace your Orlon filter bag and free filter. So underneath this top stainless steel ring, we have a free filter, which is made out of the same material that we find in our regular uh, free filter bags. And we have an Orlon disc that is beneath that, which is a piece of Orlon very similar to what we have in our Orlon filter bag. So we're using the same two medias, basically the free filter and the Orlon filter to filter the syrup. One advantage with this particular filter, you can incorporate the use of DE powder if you want a little better filtration on your maple syrup. So you can mix DE powder in with this and pull it through the vacuum filter if you want a little finer finish. Uh, the round filters, package of 12 pre-filters are like $9.99. And the Orlon disc that goes in here is $4.75. So the replacement filters for this are very cheap. Okay, rather inexpensive. The kit is going to come with this valve here. It's going to come with the dial thermometer to make to look at your syrup temperature. The nice thing is with this unit, it is designed to sit on a burner. I haven't tried it on an electric stove, but it works very well on a gas stove. And the dial thermometer is going to allow you to maintain your syrup temperature. So once you filter your syrup through this device, you will be able to maintain the temperature and bottle out of it as well. So it comes with a bottling valve down on the bottom and the draw off elbow. The only fitting that it does not come with is this little gray fitting right here. We don't really know what size shop back you're gonna hook it to. So you're gonna buy a fitting here that's gonna match the whole size of your shop back. For this demonstration, we've got just a small shop back, just a, well, pull my computer off the table, but uh, just a small shop back uh, to provide the vacuum for this. We would strongly recommend that you purchase a new shop back for this, you know, try to refrain from the one that you clean the cat box with. We don't want to have that around our syrup. So buy a new shop back. Make sure that we keep it designated for this specific application. We are making food, so we want to keep it clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this batch without DE powder. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pour some of this material in. I got to make sure I got my valves shut off. First day I did. <laughs> so, it was not a good program. We got a little on the floor. It's all right. Which happens occasionally. So. Okay. Well, that was fun. We're going to pour some in, and it's just like filtering syrup through a filter bag. Just kind of hangs out there. So, for any of you that have filtered through filter bags or are presently filtering through filter bags, you, you kind of know what we're talking about. So, our liquid level is, is right here. Like I say, it's, it's not going anyplace. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our shop bag. And we're going to slowly open up our, our vacuum valve. And we're going to draw the syrup basically through the filter using the, using the vacuum from the shop bag. And we're done. Just that quick, it's gone. Did you do a dry filter or did you moisten it? We did it dry. We did it dry. Should be moistened. Uh -huh. So, with that being said, like I say, this is an alternative that uh, you know will replace just uh, the gravity filtering. It's a little faster. Um, as a hobby producer, you know we can't always justify buying a, a $1,400 filter press. You know, so on, on this particular unit, we've got a price point of $499, and that comes with 12 free filters, one Orlon disc, the valve, the dial thermometer, the draw valve, and the draw elbow, and you're all set to bottle as well. The only thing you're going to have to buy is probably a new shop back and your adapter fitting here to, uh, to send vacuum uh, in, into the unit. So, if you want to, what's that? How much syrup can you get through without replacing the filters? So the question is, how much syrup can we get through without replacing the filters? It's all going to depend on the time of year that we're making syrup. Of course, our early season syrups are a lot easier to filter. As we get further on through the season, the later it gets, it seems like we get a lot harder to filter. The nice thing is to increase our filtration capacity. We are going to be able to use DE powder with this if we want to. You don't necessarily have to. It'll work well without it. But if you want that, that fine shine, so to speak, or that sparkle to your syrup, add the DE powder and use that filter aid to, to give you a little better finish on that syrup. So, so I've got a little syrup left. If, if anybody would like to come up here and, and take a little closer look, I'm going to run just a little bit more syrup through it. If you might 